we're building a secret room and it's in this cabin. A lot of you probably don't even know that we have an upstairs. Basically a two story home. Over the last three years, we've been living in this tiny cabin in the woods. We have two bedrooms. We are building a third and it's all the way up in the attic. Step one, clean the attic. Step two, our favorite thing. Drywall! Gypsum! Yeah, that's all I know. Nice. Look, everyone, the sun. This dark purple grungy attic, it ain't gonna be grungy at the end of this video. Just wait. More? Um, we wanted to hold on here too, right? Is that like straight? Cause I think that is going out of it. That's pretty good. Na, 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 na. I love winter. I love drywall. <laughs> drywall and winter, wow. Actually, you know, I have to just say drywall ain't that bad. When it's bad, it's when you're doing the ceiling. <laughs> Thank you to everyone that said bless you. Oh, spray foam, you are the best and the worst all at the same time. You never get rid of it. The spray foam that is in the way is now gone. The second sheet is going to go up with ease. It's been a while since we did drywall and we just remembered when you hang drywall, put your factory edges together. They are slightly turned in and that's what gives you the illusion that there is no seam. And then it makes mudding and taping 10 times easier. Ready for me? Ready. Why'd you buy all those screws? The sides are done. It already looks so much brighter. Now it's time to finish off the back triangle and we're even gonna make a sneaky little secret door. We need three pieces of strapping at 10, 26, and 40. While Crystal's cutting the triangle, I'm going to be cutting the strapping that's going to go on the back triangle. That way we can put our second last sheet of drywall up and it will meet nicely and have something to grab onto. Perfect, look at that. Yeah. Sweet. Okay, so now we need to do the secret door. Checking in the me, boy, it's dressed to the nines. The limo riding feet of fine, taking over the night. Ain't got a roll with me, just need a few to be. Do that thing until they see. Mudding and taping time. I'm all about it. Jukebox in the corner. YouTube to be a professional mutter and taper. Look at it. I think I figured out the secret to liking the entire process of drywalling. Just do one room at a time. Don't try to drywall your whole house in a couple days and you'll like it forever. Did you have fun? I did, but I can't wait to shower. You didn't think we'd paint that drywall, did you? Micro cement time! If you watch our channel, you will know all about this product. It's on our roof, it's our backsplash, all over our floors. <laughs> Worse than I thought. And I even... I ate it. We love micro cement. It gives a nice textured look. I also just don't like painting. I'd much rather do this. It just... I don't know how to describe it. It's unreal. I love it. So, I gotta mix it up. I gotta become scientist. Add the color. I'm at the point I just eyeball it now. Quiet on set. I'm gonna start by saying Jasmine's a pro micro cementer. I am not. I'm gonna help her today. So this is no race. Stay tuned. Time to micro cement. Crystal, are you ready to learn? Yeah. I'm having the best time. Are you? Yeah. It's actually super fun. I think I'm okay. You're doing really good. I mean, yeah, you're definitely crushing, but I'm getting there. 
All right, this should be the last bucket. Oop, boom. We just have this little bit to do. Fabulous. Fabulous. Probably should have used a drop sheet. <laughs> I clearly have not learned my lesson from the first time doing this ceiling. At least the flooring isn't down though. That is a plus. Completed. She's done. How did I not learn my lesson? Oh, what are you doing? Sports? We're going with purple floors. Kidding. This is floor underlayment to make laying the floor 10 times easier. As you could tell, there was spray foam, micro cement, and a lot of other things on our floor. So now it's a nice, smooth surface for Crystal to be our floor layer. Hey, how'd you find that? That's a secret door. We need a handle. I don't like handles. Well, my friends, moving on to the floor. And this is spare, waterproof laminate flooring from our cabin build. We have probably just enough box to fill this area, and that would be absolutely amazing. Screws are in place for markers so it doesn't shift and fall down here. We're all looking for some comfort. Life's a little crazy, crazy. It's a whole lot of hard work. Y'all done up there? Done. Wow, you crushed that, girl. I love it. It's pretty cool up here. It's beyond cool. It's only gonna get cooler. I actually love it. I love having another space. Oh. It's so cool to look down at the house, too. Hi, Izzy. It's so cool. I love it. I'm definitely gonna come up here and read books. Time to try out my new sander. See y'all tomorrow. Else love the color brown. I'm winning big girl. Start your morning right. Words to live by. You sleeping in? Morning. Good morning from us, my bed head, and AG1. That's why you wear heads. I can make and drink AG1 faster than I could take. Numerous pills. I'm done. It's so easy. Wow, you actually are all the way done so fast. No better way to have AG1 than cold with a bottle already in the fridge, ready for you. One scoop daily and AG1 supports whole body health. Managing your health and supporting your immune system in the cold weather months is very challenging, but AG1 sure does make it easy because in one serving, your body receives 75 vitamins and minerals. Some of the amazing benefits from AG1 is immune support, gut health, stress mood balance. That was mine. <laughs> healthy aging. And focus and energy. AG1 makes us happy. It makes me happy inside knowing that I'm waking up, starting my day right by getting lots of vitamins and minerals that my body needs to function and be the best version it can be. Not only is it the most easy and convenient way to get your body's nutrients, it tastes delicious. You've got to give it a shot. We've been drinking it for three years now and everyone we know who's tried it loves it because it tastes delicious and it makes them feel great. And with your first purchase, you'll get five free travel packs for while you're on the move, as well as a free one year supply of a vitamin D3 and K2 dropper. So head to the link in our description or go to drinkag1.com forward slash van or scan this QR code. With the walls and now the flooring nearly complete, we're not gonna be using this ladder to get up and down into the loft, are we? You're probably wondering, how are you guys gonna get up there? Well, let us show you. How are we gonna do that? Well, we took to YouTube and it said, you can build this. And we said, yes we can, let's do it. There's all different types of ladders, but we knew we didn't wanna be this person. We wanted something wooden to go with the vibes, even considered buying one, but couldn't justify the price tag. That's, That's not, not a, a sale. sale. Watched a few more videos and before you knew it, we were qualified. First step of building a loft ladder is you need your ladder to be able to go on something, that way it doesn't slide down. We've decided to use galvanized steel piping that is for gas, but really, 
It is good for everything. We've now found our studs, which are every 16 on center, and we are going to mount the phalanges directly on those. That way, it will be nice and sturdy. What are we gonna do before that, Crystal? Level it. <laughs> Strength test. Okay, what's not falling? <laughs> How'd you know the angle of a ladder? We're using our ladder. <laughs> the ladder isn't there just to help us put in the bar, but it's also there so we can figure out the angle of a ladder. It's teaching us how to build our ladder. I mean, it's already perfect. Mm -hmm. Sold in stores. Yeah, girl, feather light. Van Wives now we're ladder. The pack ladder. The back ladder coming to stores near you. I already love it. We had to cut a little bit off here, but not too much that it would take away strength. That way it sits nice right in like that. But now we gotta work on the bottom. You'll need this. This should make it so that this part of the ladder meets the floor perfectly and also hooks onto the bar perfectly. I just cut it and now we're gonna try it on. Not quite touching, eh? Uh, touching at the front, not on the back. Take two. Turns out our cut is perfect. However, the floor of the cabin is not. Shocker. So, we're gonna take a little bit more off. And this time, we're leveling with the ground and then cutting it. That way, it will be a-okay because you want the full weight of the ladder to rest on the floor and not just the front or the back of it. Fits perfectly. And now, we're just gonna trace this one onto another board, and then voila. Now we have two. Going up. Our treads shall be 13 and a half. We can never make enough money. We can never buy our happiness. We can never purchase peace of mind. Forget about try it. We're gonna use good old wood glue and structural screws. And I think it is going to be just perfect. Also, after doing research, it's really only the professional woodworkers that try to do all these data blades. And anytime you just buy a ladder or you watch or learn a simple build design, it is just done this way. Not even with structural screws. So we're gonna put the square head into the treads just as temporary, just to make sure everything's lining up good. There's nothing worse than making your beautiful countersink holes and then have to redo your work. Love the pack. <laughs> How cute. Did that all for you guys and dripped all over our floor and our step. That's true love, eh? We have a ladder. And for not being woodworkers and not doing dados and all those little fancy techniques, it's looking pretty good. Jasmine is countersinking. That way we can sink those structural screws and then cover them up and you'll never know. Welcome back to the little ladder. Mm. I spent all night sanding and staining this. It looks phenomenal. Doesn't it? Perfect, matches everything. Wow, you may do the honors. You trust? Wow. I love it. It's great, she's sturdy. <laughs> now all we have to do is finish those beams as I. I'm also just so happy we didn't buy one. It was tempting. I love it, like it was so worth it. And I say it was tempting because building a ladder is a lot like building stairs, everyone. Patience and angles and cuts and tread and rise and run and you know. Crystal, you did a fabulous job sanding this. It is soft, it is smooth. It's like a woodworker did this. And best of all, it's easy to get up and down. Well, we're still in our PJs, but it's time to rearrange the living room and do the finishing touches to bring our new loft to life. Cold one. This year, our goal is to finish every project to 100%, not 98. Look at this go. Even when I go to get it in the loft. I'm still, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. That was 
muscle woman. Oh! <laughs> Where's Crystal? <laughs> there she is. We have a third room! Oh! A literal bedroom. I'm obsessed. It's so cute. Now we can have just one more, two more yeah, people is... sleep comfortably in their own bed while they're here. This is a queen. I love it. I would sleep up here if it weren't for Bella and Izzy. It's like I live in an A-frame. This is so cool. It's adorable. I love it so much. It's actually perfect. Good work. Good night. Crushed. <laughs> also, I gotta say, you deserve that good night. Everyone hashtag Crystal in the comments. She led this project like no other. I was a lazy ploop of winter. Yeah, this okay. girl did it all. Okay, I don't know if I'd say I did it Crystal, all. Crystal, hashtag Crystal. Oh my gosh. Do, 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 do. Oh, my god, leg. Love you, pal. Go to bed now. <laughs> Literally, it's bedtime. <laughs> Woo, <laughs> woo,